Hello, greetings. So recently I purchased two bikes from the same seller, a Merrill and uh, this giant ATX 880. This is the bike that I actually wanted, but I had to get both to kind of seal the deal. So I got it very cheap, 50 euros. Um, the frame itself isn't incredibly desirable, uh, at least not in, uh, in France. It's okay, I've already had a, a giant ATX in the, uh, in the past. Instantly what caught my eye though was the um, XTR brakes and uh, the race face crank set. It's also got some avid speed dials and um, what else? Nice race face stem and um, quite a cool fork, a Mani 2 one. I don't know which model it is yet. Um, we'll look that up. So all in all, really nice uh, parts on the bike. Now what to do with it? It is in a generally poor condition, let's say. And so today I'm going to be kind of analyzing the our situation. And uh, I think we're going to be fixing this up. Let's uh, begin dismantling. I definitely won't be using these pedals. They've got a lot of wobble on them. This new set of keys that I got uh, by We Are, uh, really good. Uh, the keys are very, very uh, precise. In fact, too precise sometimes. I have a hard time getting them on the bolts. Um, but I got them very cheap, so that's not a big deal. The holder is terrible. The big keys are just falling out all the time. Uh, as you can see here for the larger ones, they're literally flapping out. So the uh, uh, initial thoughts were that this was going to be a good idea, having this little slider. But in the end, it's, uh, it's rather annoying. I'm going to have to either get a new one. Right, well, a lot of cleaning to do. I managed to find a website with all the uh, parts listed that were that were initially sold on the bike, and uh, it was mostly a mixture of XT, LX. The fork, I believe, was a RockShox, probably an Indy. Uh, so the updated um, fork is much better. The Mars, I believe. We're gonna try and build this up as uh, period is correct as possible. Uh, one uh, unfortunate or at least annoying feature is the 30.8 uh, seat post. It's not super hard to find but it's not uh, very current either. Uh, I thought it was a 30.9 initially but no it's a 30.8 and luckily I have that website to confirm. I've given the uh, frame a global clean. Uh, it's looking much better but the the frame itself needs, uh, I don't know, some sort of polishing. So I'm attempting to polish it now and remove some of the scratches. Hopefully it will become a little bit brighter as well. Same on the fork and around the whole frame, there's loads of uh, old glue from the, uh, the stickers that have been put on previously. I am taking out the bottom bracket because uh, chances are we're going to be putting on a new crank set and uh, it might require a different spindle length. So even though this bike was very dirty when I got it, uh, whoever maintained this bike had done it properly because I can see there's a thread locker on this bottom bracket so it means it hasn't corroded and there's been grease throughout. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> It's like a lot of uh, mainly dirt on here. Quite a nice bottom bracket. I haven't had one of these before. It's an FSA uh, Ultimax. Uh, the it looks like the bearings could be uh, the sword bearings could be replaced. 
It's uh, marked to uh, Japan on the uh, the bearings themselves, so something of good quality, probably. And it's uh, ready to be uh, built up. Uh, so I cleaned up the frame as best I could. And uh, we'll clean all the parts, remove the bomb bracket. We're going to put uh, another one in, and it, it BBUN72. I'd say since cleaning that the uh, the blue at the back there, the anodized paint, uh, is uh, much brighter. I've also put some um, linen oil on top of the the aluminium. I feel like it, it's come out a little bit brighter. It was uh, it's quite dry, bone dry. There's some uh, bone dry uh, plastic parts which I'm going to put a little bit of oil on to um, well, to make it more attractive and also to rejuvenate the, the color that has uh, kind of faded away. Probably gonna do that on the grip shift sit as well. Let's begin by uh, putting installing the bottom brackets. I'm putting it in 110 uh, spindle length to accommodate a sake suntour, which I actually quite like and I've uh, polished a little bit. Okay, looks good so far. Uh, I'm just gonna check up uh, roughly the chain line once it's uh once it's bolted down uh, it looks like it's about 48 a uh, little bit off uh, but i think that should work um anyway i've only got uh this uh 110 and 113 and the 113 was obviously way off And uh, this crank arm is really not that bad. It's uh, I really like the the shape, and uh, but also the um, the main crank is uh, made from aluminium. It's just that unfortunately the the uh, chain rings are made from steel, and makes it a little bit heavier. Really would have liked to uh, service this fork, um, but I just simply don't have the time, or specifically I don't have the space to hold uh, so many bikes all the time. The transmission is going to be uh, three times seven, simply because it's uh, well, it was a lot easier to, because I already have uh, some of the parts and I've got these matching um, wheels. Uh, so these are for Welter uh, Airlines. I quite like them actually. They're uh, I don't think they were very high end, but I really like the the rooms in uh, in particular. Um, yeah, so I think these will look nice. And even though the hub is uh, Levio, uh, it's extremely light these wheels, and I've actually stuck on some Michelin uh, racers, racers, uh, which I don't like the the tires, but they're light though. Uh, these brakes are, I think they were probably on the the catalogue build at least for this bike. Uh, they seem to mention some kind of a group shift uh, lever and I know they had these type of uh, plasticky levers that um, I think SRAM also sold. Uh, I think they were SRAM 5.0s or 7.0s. I've had them before though. Wasn't too sure how to uh, position these cables. I'm going to be doing them red actually. Uh, so I, I began at the back. And uh, you can see at the back that the uh, it makes more sense to have it in, uh, in this configuration. Uh, the reason I think I have to put the uh, middle derailleur here is because uh, this this little bit here, the stopper, 
is at an angle and so it just makes sense that it's going there. And uh, this brake lever has the most weirdest way of uh, of installing the brake. You have to pass it through a hole and then it goes underneath here, through there and then you put it in. Hopefully I didn't cut that too short. Just wasn't sure what to put on, so I decided some avid, uh, some avid uh, arches. Actually wanted some uh, black colored ones, um, but I don't have any for the moment. So might swap these out after, don't know yet. Now I'm pretty sure that the cable is obviously meant to go on this side. Uh, I think it's going to look... I think it looks better like that. Yeah, it does look better. Oops, forgot Got those little spaces. STX uh, cassette. Finally received the uh, seat post today, so I can uh, finish the build. Uh, and on the interior of the, uh, the seat tube itself, there was uh, something a little bit blocking the the seat post from going in smoothly, so I'm just uh, finding it down a little bit. I was uh, having issues with uh, adjusting the V-brake, uh, which is normally quite easily, and uh, I figured out the issue. When I was braking, it was undoing itself, very odd, and uh, anyway, I figured out what it was. It was the head of uh, this bolt that uh, is actually bent. Check out the flame flexing when you're, you're braking at the back.
after cleaning up the chain looks absolutely fine it's a bbb it must have been changed at one point uh, as there was quite a few treble b uh, parts on the bike so uh, i'm going to reuse it and then we'll put some uh, some uh, new oil These group shifts are so easy to adjust, it's like uh, thumb shifters. I'm going to try these uh, MKS uh, pedals. I don't think they're going to be staying on here, but it's just mini to uh, try them out. A couple of little things to finish off, but I'd say we've uh, pretty much concluded this. Let's uh, go and test ride it. Bike rides are uh, fine. The only uh, issue I've got maybe is the, the terrible seat post and uh, the the saddle, which is uh, too small for me. I'm I need quite large. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need about 150, which uh, not a lot of saddle manufacturers do. So the SRT uh, 400s working fine. Again, very easy to adjust. Uh, my only issue really is that they don't have the same increments as the, I think it was the SRT uh, 600 and the SAX. Let's make our way to the uh, typical French commercial zone. Ugly metal boxes. Just a tour around here. Uh, you know what, it's actually starting to rain. I was heading up to the uh, type of hill there in front of us. Um, but it's starting to get heavier. Why has someone put a dolphin on the side of their house? Hmm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go to the old uh, Rutens, Rutens shop. Made it. There's a giant, a modern day one anyway, in the windowsill. A 90s giant and uh, one from 2023. Fairly happy with uh, the results. Would have liked to have serviced the, the fork. Seems a bit rough. Uh, I just simply didn't have the time though. The bike is really light. Um, obviously it's made from aluminium, so that um, that explains it a bit, and also the fork, uh, that Mars, Manita of Mars is, uh, is very light compared to uh, other forks from that era. Um, yeah, I think it must do at least 11, 11 kilos, maybe underneath. The anodized blue at the back of the bike is uh, really cool, I think. Really makes it stand out, and I'm quite happy I did the red and blue cabling. Anyway, thank you for listening, and uh, until next time, peace out.